Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're doing another gear video today because I want to. We're gonna be talking about chest rigs and the aid, oh, I can't even say H today. We're gonna be answering a question today. What gear should I buy? Part one, chest rigs. Is this a definitive guide? No, but we're gonna try our hardest. Alrighty, we got some chest rigs options out here in front of us. We'll start minimal and work our way up. All right, so minimal. We're gonna start with a very basic, which is essentially a placard. Now, right here, we've got the uh, Volk system from Parachuter Gear. We sell these on our website and we actually have special camos only on our website. So if you're interested in weird camos like this one, you can check that out. So placard. It can be used as a chest rig and it's very minimal. As you can see, this literally just holds three magazines. We also have other placards like this, like from Unobtainium Gear. And these, the idea is that there's nothing going on in your chest except what you need immediately accessible. Pros of this, it's super small. You can wear this with pretty much anything. You could wear it underneath a jacket if you needed to. You're going to need to figure out a way to upscale this or how to store it in a backpack to carry all that gear with you. Now the con of that being is, yes, everything's really small up front. It makes you really maneuverable, but if you got a backpack, you're going to need a decent backpack. You're going to need to figure out how to store those things. And for example, here, I've only got three magazines. I'm taking six plus one in the gun. At some point, what this is going to mean is I'm going to have to resupply either from a backpack or somewhere to keep my magazine count up because these are gonna run out eventually. I can't hold everything I need right here. Now, if you're looking to scale this up a little bit, there are a few different options. There are a nice little Velcro. There is a nice little Velcro thing. Now, if you like the minimal design up front, but you do wanna scale it up a little bit, there are a few options out there. What's nice about these is there is Velcro on the side here, on the back. Uh, so you can add in, you know, a drop pouch. You can add expander wings on either side and scale it up a little bit. It's really nice because, you know, you can take it off, you can put it back on, you know, depending on what you're gonna be doing that day. Now, one last pro I will make mention of is because these placards are so small and they have the Velcro on the back, really easy to just throw them on a plate carrier. As you scale up with chest rigs, they start to interact with plate carriers a little bit differently. So it's just a consideration to make if you wanna add armor, this guy literally just plugs in, slaps down, and you're good to go. So we've got the minimal, now we're scaling up to medium. For medium, we've got a Halo Strategic D3 CRX here. Now, this kind of bridges the gap of really minimal placards to big sustainment gear. So what that means is they'll be able to hold a little bit more. This guy starts with being able to accept four rifle magazines. So that's really nice compared to the three. It's got accessory pouches here, which is great if you want to throw a radio, maybe some basic medical gear, some pistol mag pouches, a flashlight, so on and so forth. These ones also do come with that Velcro back panel. So if you have a medical kit, just like on the Volk, you can just Velcro it in and ta-da, it's scaled up a little bit. So like I said, this has everything that the minimal rig has plus a little bit of extra. Now, the nice thing about these specifically is all the pouches are all sewn into the rig itself. So there's not gonna be droopiness, you know, things aren't gonna sag over time. I could probably fit a decent amount of the medical stuff in here. If I buy that drop pouch, the medical gear is good to go. Don't have to worry about that. Water, probably gonna have to throw in a backpack of some sort. You can throw a couple water bottles in there or you could throw like a Nalgene, not a Nalgene, it's a Camelback, one of the bladders in there. That's another option to run it through. Radio, I could probably throw it you know, in this pouch here, depending on what size radio I have, it's a Baofeng, I can pretty much put it anywhere, it's so small. Not a big deal, but again, bridges the gap between super minimal and small and large upscale sustainment type gear. Now, sort of a pro con with this rig too is the pouches are fast sewn in there. So the pro of that is they're not gonna drag and droop over time. They're nice and rigid, close to the body. The con of that is you're stuck with this configuration. You can't move things around. We do have a few different variants on our website. So if you don't like the Velcro pouches, you can get a zipper one. You know, if you want to run 308 mags, that's also an option with these guys specifically. But also, again, not customizable. So if you don't like these pistol mags up front, you're kind of stuck with them. Okay, the last chest rig we have is a tactical assault panel. And this chest rig is a sort of sustainment type chest rig. Now, hopefully in the future, we'll have a few different options for sustainment rigs as well. I'm not gonna give you too much information about that, but we are working on stuff. We have these, I'm just gonna call it a sustainment rig. The idea behind these chest rigs is almost everything is immediately accessible on your chest. If you're still hiking around, you're still probably gonna have a backpack anyways, but the main idea is like 
food, water, medical, all that. Good to go up front, you have immediate access to everything. If you're running AR magazines, specifically the TAPS rigs can hold all six magazines and then some right off the bat. AK mags are a little bit thicker, so you probably couldn't hold all eight. There's eight pouches on these for magazines. Probably couldn't hold all eight, you could probably hold six, and they might need a little bit of, you know, DIY to make work. But if you're running an AR-15, something that's taking Stanag mags, boom, you got eight magazines. So this is really meant for a sustained gunfight. For gunfights, I mean, pretty much the main things you'll need are lots of bullets and lots of water. People win with bullets and then, you know, they're able to keep shooting with water. You can survive a while off food. Water is like really critically essential. On this guy specifically, I've got, you know, AR mag pouches. I've got two GP pouches here. So if I wanted to run a radio in here, I can do that. Or if I wanted to throw even more magazines in there and just freaking crush it, I can do that too. Cool thing about this too is this one, as it's bigger, it wraps around the body a little bit more. So pro wraps around the body a little bit more. There's a lot more real estate. So you can actually put stuff on the side and keep it small up front. I mean, look how thin that is. I can get really low to the ground, you know, in case I need to whip out my switch and freaking crush it on Animal Crossing. Whatever I need to do, I've got plenty of room. Zippers on the back. So if I need to throw in maps, snacks, my phone, ATAC, whatever you're gonna do, even more real estate in there. So what are the cons on this guy? Uh, because it can hold a lot, it also can weigh a lot. So you need to be conscious of that as you're building this out. Again, another reason why you might wanna run around your house for a weekend with this thing on, because you know if you got six, seven magazines in here, two things of water, all your gear, you're gonna be kind of front heavy. So you need to be aware of that and also aware of what it's gonna do to your back. It's gonna have a little bit of a harder time plugging into other systems if you're upscaling. So for example, if you're gonna be running a plate carrier and armor, you know, this guy can plug into armor, but it's still big. So you need to be aware of that. It's gonna add a lot of circumference as you scale up. So these rigs that we sell do come with the plate carrier adapter, so you can plug these in, but they're not as a fast, quick release as some of the other ones. But again, pro con, you get a lot more real estate to deal with. Now, a couple more points I wanna to touch on with all of these rigs is they all use swift clips, which is fantastic because what that means is, is if you don't like the harness system that they come with, or if you buy the base model and it doesn't come with a harness system, you can add different harnesses on there. There's a thousand different harness systems if you like the X or if you like the H, you can throw what you want on the uh, chest rig. So in summary, for a chest rig, if you're interested in a chest rig option, what you need to do is you need to figure out what you're gonna carry and how you'd like to carry it. That's pretty much what people have been talking about for gear for the last 40 years. So, you know, mags, water, comms, food, ammo. I already said ammo. Medical. Figure out everything you need and then figure out how you'd like to carry it. Do you want it really minimal and throw in a backpack? Do you want to kind of bridge the gap or do you want one system that spans your whole chest? that you can put everything on. If you are super finicky like me, I will give you my personal thoughts as well on each of these rigs. Minimal stuff, love them with plate carriers. Probably wouldn't run it as a chest rig so much. Um, I'm tending to lean more over time if I'm gonna run an independent chest rig, doing something big and scalable so I can just throw it on and I don't have to move stuff around. So minimal, I kind of lean more towards in conjunction with the plate carriers if you're a big body armor guy and you want to look super high speed and slick down and you know, you're just gonna be chilling at your house or operating out of a vehicle at the, at the range, minimalist. If you kind of want to bridge the gap, these are great too. You can keep everything you need in here and then maybe some in a backpack and then you know, if you want to run body armor, you could just unclip it and clip it back in. Don't have to worry about swapping too many panels around or where's my gear at? Is it all in this backpack? So good bridge gap for a sustainment gear. I'm kind of liking sustainment gear more and more as time goes on. These are great. Build it out, put it on a shelf, and that's it. You don't have to worry about grabbing a backpack. You don't have to worry about grabbing anything else. You just grab this throw it on and you're good to rock and roll. So out of those, kind of figure out what you might like. Do some research, there's a bunch of great guys out there that talk about their gear. All right guys, if you liked any of the stuff you saw on the video, you can check us out at apexgunparts.com because we have all the stuff on our website, even up to snacks, but not including water. Uh, let us know what your favorite gear is down in the comment section. I will read those because I'm a huge nerd and I'll probably respond to them. And what we'll probably do is we'll probably shoot with these guys and come back for a second range report. So keep an eye out for that and we'll see you in the next one when we talk about plate carriers.